What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Samanya. How are you guys surviving this quarantine? I am doing excellent. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please subscribe and please share, share, share this video. Okay, so it happened. Y'all broke up. You got broken up with. So you felt the anger, the disappointment, the hurt, the guilt. All those feelings are okay to feel. But there, there's some steps that you have to take to help you get over and past this process. So today I'm going to talk to you about how to get over your ex. First and foremost, first things first, you need to learn from your mistake. So you need to look in the mirror and understand, hey, this is what I did wrong in this relationship. Now, face the music and, and accept your responsibility for things that you may have done wrong. Learn from it and move forward so you won't make the same mistake in the next relationship. So you definitely want to learn from your mistake because you do not want to repeat the same mistakes that you already made before in the past. So second, secondly, this is the most important one to me is stay off of their social media. There's no way in hell you can move forward in life if you're constantly stalking their page, watching what they're doing and seeing what they're doing. It's not healthy. It's going to keep you in an unhappy and unhealthy place. So do what you need to do by going no contact uh, deleting them from your social media and not stalking the page and creating a sneaky account to go on their page and look at it. It's time for you to move forward. It's in the past now. If you look back, just like the scripture in the Bible, you will turn into a grain of salt, especially if it was a toxic relationship. You definitely don't want to look back. So you cannot keep yourself in a place to where you're, you're still knowing what they're doing because once they post something that's going to upset you, it's going to take you backwards and not forwards in life. So you definitely want to have forward movement. You want to be in a healing process and elevating a little bit higher and bettering yourself as a person. So you definitely want to not be on anything don't go calling their parents. It's, it's their parents anyway. They will always be on their kid's side. Who it, it doesn't even matter whose fault it was. It's time for you now to face the music and heal. Heal through this process, okay? So the next thing is, okay, so now you've uh, learned from your mistake. You uh, went no contact. And now you have to focus on now forgiving yourself. So if you are beating yourself up in this situation, you need to first forgive yourself so your heart can heal. You don't want to go into anything else with a with an unhealed heart and an unforgiven spirit because it won't work. So you have to work on definitely forgiveness and forgiving yourself. Uh sometimes you don't have to say I'm, you know, you, sometimes you have to forgive yourself daily. Sometimes you don't have to say, I'm sorry. You just have to go ahead and just say, hey, you know what, Sermonia, I'm sorry. I did this to myself. Talk to yourself and work on daily forgiveness. Okay, so, um, okay, the next thing is use this time wisely. So in, the, in between the process of one breakup and to getting into the next relationship that you desire, you want to use that time wisely because when you're in a relationship or a marriage, you are focusing, you can't really focus on your dreams and your desires. You can't put, give it 100%. So you need to definitely figure out if you don't know what you're passionate about, if you don't know what your dreams are, figure it out. Ask God to show you what your dreams and what your dreams are. Write down some goals and start executing. S start doing something that you love, whether it's running, whether it's hiking, whether it's reading, meditating. Do things for yourself to show yourself, to, to help yourself heal and get to where you want to be as a person. Uh, focus, focus on your savings. Focus on your credit. There's some things that you need to just take care of now, but you put everything in to the relationship and you 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 come out of it and you're like oh dang why wasn't i doing this or why wasn't i doing that so the thing that you mainly need to do is focus on yourself focus on your dreams and goals and execute 
don't use this time to soak. It's, it's no time to do all of that. It's no time to be, it's, it, you have a time and a place to be sad, but it's no time to be de fall into a depression and not get anything done. This is a time now to give, give yourself 100% of everything, everything that you want, need, and desire is right there and you just have to execute. Call that business partner that you've been wanting to talk to. Do what you go get that gym membership. Well, right now, get a virtual um, uh, app on your TV. Uh, get that body that you've been desiring. Eat the proper foods. Don't use this quarantine time to gain weight, but better yourself. Find a great self-help book to read. You know, I'm reading the book now, The Nine Laws of Success by uh, Stormy Willison, and it is amazing, you guys. So I'm just saying, like, focus on your self-development. Whatever the case may be, work on that 30 to 45 minutes a day. And sometimes now that we're in a quarantine, work on what you're, what you're passionate about all day. Wake up and say affirmations to yourself. Speak positive things to yourself. It's no longer time to beat yourself up anymore. I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have did Why did I, you know, that's done and over. No more beating yourself up because now you have already forgiven yourself. It's time to move forward. Dust, shake the, shake the dust off your feet and shake the, shake your shoulders or whatever they say and get, get going. You know, it's, it's just, it's just that time. It, every day is special. Every day is precious. You cannot waste time uh, being in a depressed state. Now I understand de depression can happen, but you can fight it. Now, if you were in a major toxic relationship, especially if you're dealing with a narcissist or anything like that, seek help, seek help therapy. There is nothing wrong with therapy. If you were married, if y'all have kids or whatever the case may be, and you can't fight through it alone, there is nothing wrong with therapy. Seek therapy as soon as possible so you can get through this healing process. Because sometimes when you're dealing with the breakup, you deal with the breakup like death. You go through all the same phases as death. And so you definitely want to feel those so you can be able to heal and move forward in life. Now, another thing that I uh, I was taught by uh, my great healer, Ra, uh, she's an energy healer and I love her so much. We have a great relationship and I always uh, stay in contact with her and uh, she's always helped me on my healing, is write a letter, write a letter to that person Write a letter. I know this sounds weird, but write a letter to that person. Tell them how you feel. Tell them everything that they did to you. And you and you forgive yourself. Just write a letter, two, three, four, five pages, however many pages it may take. Write that letter down. And when you get done with that letter, you feel at peace with that letter. And you take that letter and that paper and you catch it on fire and you let it go. You light that paper up and you let that go into the wind and you release every emotion that was in that paper that you wrote down, you release it into the universe. That's no longer you anymore. You are taking up on a new leaf and a new life. And sometimes breakups can be very difficult but sometimes we don't, we, you definitely don't want to stay in the place of not forward movement because this is the time where there's, this is the time where you can heal, develop, build your brand, make that website, do whatever those desires that you want to do in life and execute. I'm telling you, you will definitely be successful. Okay. So I just wanted to just kind of dab in a little bit and tell you guys hi some people are having a hard time some people are dealing with breakups some people are uh letting go of toxic relationships and 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 they need to become free so free yourself free yourself from that meditate daily affirm those things forgive yourself and learn from your mistakes Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm, go I'm going to uh, have some amazing videos and content for you guys this month. And y'all just stay tuned in and please share this video. And if you have any questions, please uh, uh, comment below 
or email me at sermonia at gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Peace.